Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of our new V-Files show, House Call. We're coming directly to the doors of the V-Files community to see what type of clothing you make, what type of art you make, what type of music you make, just all around what you guys are doing. It's V-Files. I'm here today talking to one of my favorite users on the site, Darren Beck. He makes t-shirts, zines, art, and weapons, and here's his house. Darren, Danielle, nice to meet you, how are you? Let's go upstairs. Are the drawings yours? Uh, yeah, it's the Metallica logo. Don't tread on me. What medium do you use for these? Uh, it's all pencil. And that's like my four favorite guitars. I don't play guitar though. There's like uh, my band's Insane World. I don't. You're in a, oh, that's your band? Yeah. This is a flyer for the new show. Uh, I'm having at the Brooklyn Museum part of Tom Sachs' Boombox Retrospective. Why do you like making zines? Because really, like, no one sees paintings. You'll make, like, 20 paintings, and then, like, no one sees them. So zines, like, more people can see them. Do you want to talk about this one? <laughs> it's like, uh... Southern lifting music? It's like, it's like all, like, playlists that I listen to, like, lifting and stuff. Like, I'm not, like, a hardcore, like, lifter, but, like, this is, like, the shit I would listen to. Cigar review. It's, like, a, all affordable cigars. Like, I don't really know cigars, like, well enough to, like, review them. Like, so you wouldn't call yourself, like, a cigar aficionado? Nah, just, like, fucking shit you can get at, like, a deli and stuff, you know? Oh, so, wait, the rating is in mid flames? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what kind of kid were you in high school? Uh, just like normal. Just into like a lot of hardcore, metal, metalcore. Were you working on like zines and art and drawing as a kid? Well, yeah, I always worked on like art stuff and not like zines or anything like that. I remember going to like shows and I'd see guys with like fanzines and stuff and I'd be like, what's the point of it? Like I, didn't, I just thought it was kind of stupid. But then like as I like got older, I was like started to appreciate more like being a fan of a band, like pushing it further. Do you make a shirt for a band that you like? That's like showing your appreciation like to a higher level. Now when you make these, do you just use like a fabric marker or what do you use? Yeah, just a all fabric marker because it's like, some of I do paint as well. Like I'd buy all my band shirts in high school and shit like at shows. Mm -hmm. And my one friend, he would put like Sharpie on a shirt like Nirvana and like Dead Kennedys. I always thought that was like derelicty, like just to do that. I saw like a lot of shirts online like selling for like stupid amounts. To get a Sabotage shirt online would be like 200 bucks. Yeah, you're like fuck it, I'll make it. I'll make it myself, yeah. Brutality, a way of life. <laughs> When it comes to like making the weapons, do you have a dark side? Just like listening to like metal and like immersing yourself in that environment, like yeah, I, like listen to all that shit, but like I don't have like any like fucking dark side besides that. They're all weapons I made like working as a maintenance guy at my old job. Just yeah. like fucking around like just like during work making something out of nothing, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's like one of my favorites. <laughs> so see like this. <sighs> <laughs> <sighs> what is this made out of? Is this a It's a, like a hot water heater valve, and that's uh, just like a rubber gasket for grip. This one was actually like the first one we made. It's just like a snowplow blade. We had like a, a four-wheeler, and it had a snowplow blade on the bottom, and it had a plow hooked up to it. And this was like a rubber conduit, like flex pipe. Can I see this? Because this is my favorite one, is this you one. have labeled saw blade on a rag. I just want to be swinging that. These keys, like, you know how, like, you always put, like, your keys? I always put my keys when I walk home at night through my hands. It's a sharpened key, so it's like a key on overdrive. This is, like, extra. <laughs> That's tight, though. How would you get the nails inside there that way? 
Uh, just nail them in and then you grind off the head. All right, yeah. so we have the originals. Yeah, if you want to take Very a look rare. at them. My dad and me about 12 years ago, I began lifting in that basement in middle school, telling me when I started lifting about working out your neck. My dad has like a little weight room in our basement. Yeah. It's like basic stuff. But Same, my dad does too. So it's like all the songs, the logos and stuff. Yeah, there's like the originals for this. That's my coworker who helped me build all of them. That was me like back then. Oh. So wait, was this just like a selfie that you took on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> you like selfies. <laughs> no. I wouldn't think that about like you. Only, You're a humble man. Only like for the zines at the beginning. It's kind of like funny like to show who the author is, you know? You have like a pretty cool V-Files page. How do you use the site? I upload a lot of zines and t-shirts. If anyone wants a zine or a shirt, you could just message me at the V-Files uh, account, Darren Beck. Oh.